Hi, my name is Michael. I am the Staff Training and Development Manager for a financial corporation. I was using Prezi. I have switched to PowerPoint. And for more reviews like this, click the link down below. Both Prezi and PowerPoint are excellent tools when you're trying to figure out ways to display content or present content, both content both virtually or in person in an instructor-led scenario or a uh, scenario where maybe you're having a meeting. Microsoft PowerPoint is fantastic if you want to be able to present data or present information, even just images, quickly and efficiently. What's nice about it is we'll give you suggestions if you're not comfortable with graphics. It can do things uh, through machine learning to kind of make it so that your presentation will pop even if you don't invest a ton of time or aren't comfortable. But what's nice about that is you can expand that capability quite a bit if you start importing your own art, assets, music, video, and it's all done quickly which is wonderful just because if you've used Word, if you've used any of the Microsoft suite, a lot of the commands are the same, the menu bar is the same, and it's just easy and intuitive to, lose, to use consequently. Prezi is excellent if you want to display content in a way that is dynamic and can take your uh, attendees or your learners on a journey because it's set up to use the power of motion to kind of drive the content, which can be great when you're trying to sum things up or display how things go together or literally take them on a journey, whether it's through a timeline or different spots that you've laid out on a globe or just a simple graphic that can kind of walk them through the steps in a process. When starting to learn Prezi, there's a little bit of a learning curve, not because it's necessarily difficult, but because it's a little more rigid in how you use it, at least as far as how you learn it initially. Mainly because when you're setting up slides, or their version of slides, it's based on a location in an image that is predetermined, whether you uploaded it or it's one of the tools that, that they've provided for you, one of their different templates. Because of that, it can be a little more challenging to move things around in a way that makes sense. So there is a little bit of a learning curve there because there's some more trial and error. And what that means is sometimes it's better to really lay out what you want it to look like and what the flow of information is going to be before you start diving into content creation. With PowerPoint, you can kind of just get started and because each slide is its own unique item, it's easier to mix and match, move things around. And because the content is edited in a similar way to Word or Excel or OneNote, it's a little more intuitive for your average user that's probably been exposed to those products already. When looking for software that's going to be presentation-based, one thing you always have to keep in mind is the bottom line and what's the cost. When it comes to something like Microsoft PowerPoint, if you're in a Microsoft environment, you probably already have Microsoft 365 or maybe a standalone purchase of that unit, in which case you already have it, so it's easy to jump in and use. With PowerPoint, it's just like Microsoft 365 or Office 365, it's an annual subscription. And you're only getting that one tool or the two versions of Prezi that they currently offer. Uh, it's a little pricier than Microsoft Office, plus you don't have as many features because it's just the presentation software. So that's something that you really have to weigh. I think the second thing to look at is versatility, or at least what is your goal with this software. If you want to just make a presentation that is powerful, that looks slick, and can kind of guide your learners or your attendees on a journey, Prezi can't be beat just because it's it does that so well and makes for something that is engaging to look at. With PowerPoint, you are a little less limited as far as that, but with the new tools that they offer like Morph, it's a little easier to make something that's similar to Prezi, even if it's not exactly the same thing. So you can use Microsoft PowerPoint to create something that's similar to Prezi. It just takes a little bit more work, whereas it's kind of baked into Prezi because that's kind of the purpose. So I think if you're looking, you want to look at cost and you really just want to evaluate what is your goal with this software. If you want something that's multi-use, 
go with PowerPoint. If you want something that really has a focus for just making presentations that wow, Prezi would be your best bet.